Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking for lunch chicken and rice. A delicious and easy to make one pan job. So let's do it. Okay then, so large pan on the stove. I'll turn it up to number seven. I want to fry the chicken first without it splashing too much. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Reminds me, I must get some more. About two tablespoons. Hopefully it won't splash too much today. I mess my kitchen up. And I'll wait for that to slightly heat up. Bloody hell, I barely burnt the house down. I went out to feed the birds. I left the pan on the heat. I've been out there for 15 minutes. No wonder it's a bit smoky in here. Okay. I've let it cool down, because if I didn't, you can imagine what would happen when I, when I put the chicken here. So let's put this chicken here, and I'm just going to slowly brown it all round, as much as I can. Hope it doesn't splash too much. I think it'll be a good idea to put the hat on, just in case. Okay then. So, this is crap, well, half crap really, still splashing everywhere, so first things first, I can't handle this, so I'm going to give this a quick wipe over, oh, it's smoky isn't it, and it's hot as well. I thought buying one of these hats would solve the, prob the whole problem of it splashing everywhere, but it doesn't. Oh, let's chuck that in the sink. And what I'm going to do is take the chicken out. It's browned or round roughly. It doesn't matter. It's going to cook later in the in the broth. i put that to one side. And in this same oil, I'll wait a minute and let it cool down a little bit. Just put it to one side. Oh, and by the way, do you like my knuckle, um, I mean my garlic crush it. I bought it the other day in the Chinese store, one of these Chinese shops online. Less than a euro. Haven't used it yet, but shouldn't go wrong, is there? Nothing much to go wrong with this. I also bought one of these thingy bobs. It's for sharpening knives. It's a strange one, never had one of these before. I usually sharpen it in a stone. I did expect it to be much bigger, about five times bigger than this. Hey, but that's what you get when you buy in the Chinese short stores, isn't it? Haven't used it yet either. Well, I have a little bit. Anyway, let's get back to business. This has cooled down a bit. So what I'll do is add the onion Red pepper, all chopped up finely, well finely, more or less, and I'm just going to gently brown that off. By the way, I've put in the description, I'm using 50 grams of each of the onion and the red pepper. Obviously you can use as much or as less as you like. I thought that this for two people would be enough. So let's wait for this to sort itself out. Okay, so this looks done. Doesn't look a lot, does it? That's because it isn't a lot. Maybe I should have doubled the size of it. Too late now. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put back the chicken on here. Oh, 
I'd like to juice them as well. Might as well now. And wow, can't remember now. Okay, I'm going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Yay! Some black pepper. If I can open this thing. Not a lot. Well, you can add as much as you want. I'm going to add some um, oregano today. I was going to add thyme. I thought, let's add this. Wait. It's a sprinkle. Um, oh yeah, some yellow food colorants to give it that nice yellow color. Sprinkle is enough. Oh, and cheers by the way. Thank you for your support. Um, what next? Oh, let's add the white wine. Just move it about a bit. Oh, look at that lovely yellow colour that it gives the chicken already. Beautiful, isn't it? And I'm just going to leave it there for about five minutes so the alcohol um, evaporates. Oh, I love that colour. Awesome. Well, it's been on here for five minutes. I'm just going to turn the chicken over. Oh, look at that colour. Beautiful. And let's put it nicely there. Let's make a pattern. Like that. Yay. Look at that. Beautiful. And get in there. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some peas in. These are frozen peas. Well, half frozen. I'm just going to add some in each pocket. Maybe I should have put the rice in first. Well, never mind. Too late now, isn't it? It doesn't matter anyway. It's all good. And I'm going to have add the rice in each pocket. I've never done this before, by the way. So... Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a pea here. Get in there. And... Oh yes. Let's have this chicken broth. Which has quite a few things. Got chicken, potatoes, carrots, leeks and onion I think, not sure. And I'm gonna add about 750ml, 770cl seven, or something like that. I'm just gonna cover it all up basically. Well you've seen me do this before anyway. Mm, 685. Sod it. Let's add. Yeah, that'll be enough. I'll use that for a soup tonight. My darling wife will appreciate it. I'm going to um, turn it right up now so that it comes to a boil quick. And then I'll do a salt check. Because this broth, I think I've used it before, but I can't remember if it's got salt or not. Okay, so this has come to a boil. So first things first, and that is to turn it down a couple of notches to number seven. And I'll see if this needs any salt or not. It's gonna burn me, isn't it? Mm. Awesome. No salt needed. So, I'm just going to leave it there. Let, let's get these grains of rice. 
put that over the chicken into the water. I'll just leave it there. I reckon about on number seven, which is medium high, I think 15 minutes should do it. We shall see. Okay. Well, it's been exactly 10 minutes. That's the 15 that I predicted. And this is ready, I think. Let's have a taste of the rice. The rice is ready. The rest is also. Mmm. Oh yes. Sorted. This is ready. So let's turn the engines off. And... I don't know if you can see it there. Dinner, lunch, is served. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment. And I look forward to sharing my next recipe with you. Thank you and goodbye. Salute.